Which number correctly completes the subtraction sentence? 5.0 minus 3.25. So first you write 5.0. Below it we write 3.25. Then we minus these all together. So after the symbol we have to add the equal number of the digits. That's why we add a 0. Now we cannot minus 5 from 0. And then over here is also a 0. That's why we carry over to the normal points we will have to carry over from the 5 so the 5 will not be 5 anymore it will turn into 4 and the 0 will not be 0 anymore and will have to turn into a 9 so it can give 1 to here now it will be 10 10 minus 5 is 5 9 minus 2 is 7 now we should not forget to add the decimal point 4 minus 3 is 1. Answer is 1.75. Answer is right here. B. Read the following question and answer. Wood circle has 1 by 2 of the shaded part. 1 by 2 means half of the full circle. This is the full circle. Half of it means this much will not be covered, meaning this is the answer, C. What is the value of 2 by 3 plus 3 by 4? So first, to do this, we will first have to convert these fractions into like fractions, meaning both of the denominators should be the same. So we call the denominator same. So firstly, we know that 4 cannot come in 3's table. And that's why we have to choose a number that comes in both of the tables, meaning 12. 12 comes in both of the tables. Now, so 3, 4's are 12, and 4, 3's are 12. So basically, 2, 4s are 8, meaning 8 will come on the top. And 3 times 3 equals to 9. And now as you plus them, the answer will be 17 by 12. So there is a mistake over here. There is no 17 by 12. But the answer is correct. What is the value of 0 0.7 as a fraction? The value of 0 0.7 as a fraction is 7 by 10. Because we are converting decimals into fraction. The answer is 7 by 10 because... The point turns into a 1 and there is 1 digit here, meaning it will be 7 by 10. If you divide 27 by 3, so first let's divide 27 by 3. So, 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9, 3 4s are 12, 3 5s are 15, 3 6s are 18, 3 7s are 21, 3 <coughs> 3 8s are 24 and 3 nines are 27. So 3 nines are 27. Then we minus these two. So 7 minus 7 is 0. 2 minus 2 is 0. So the answer will be so the remainder is 0. Meaning the answer is 9. So the result is 9. And then we multiply 9 times 2, that is 18. There is another uh, mistake over here. The answer will be 18. If a cake recipe 
calls for two cups of flour and you want to make three cakes. How many cups of flour do you need? To find this answer, we will do two times three. Two times three is six. Meaning the answer is going to be six cups of flour. What is the value of 8 divided by 3 times 2? So first, sorry. What is the value of 18 divided by 3 times 2? So first, we will do 18 divided by 3. So we know that this is the bottom mass rule. Bracket of divide, multiply, add and subtract. So first, let's start doing our bottom mass division. 3, 6 are 18. So 6 is the result. 6 times 2 is 12, meaning the answer is going to be D12. Which ball weighs the most? So in option A, looks like the ball here is weighs more than 500 grams. Over here, we can see that the line is a bit tilted. That means that the ball is a bit lighter weight than 500 grams. Over here, 500 grams is definitely a lot more than this ball. I mean, this is definitely not the answer. Over here, it is going like this, meaning it is equal. So that is also not the answer. We have to find the heaviest. The heaviest is this ball because it is lifting 500 grams. So the winner is A. If a bag contains 30 marbles, if you want to divide them equally into 6 bags, how many marbles will be in each bag? To do this, we will simply divide 6 and 30. 6 fives are 30. Five is that simple.